Travel with Joe arrives at a traditional English tea cafe at Greenwich Village. This ten-year-old cafe will bring you back to the UK. Well, it's nice to have the English tea and the, the English breakfast tea sort of thing, and um, just written, it's an easier way to to sort of link back to home. Really, it's, uh, it reminds us of you know what we left. The pictures of the royal family and the UK flag showed the patriotic side of the UK-born owner Nikki. The tiny cafe has limited seatings, and waiting for one hour or two for a seat is pretty common during peak hours. I lend it to in sympathy because actually was a friend of mine. I was agonising about. I had everything in my head. What it was going to look like, what the menu was going to be, what the walls were going to have hanging on them. It was a very big vision for me, a very exact vision. Except I just could not think of the name. I mean, this was 12 years before I even opened it. I was so obsessed with it. I'd even written the menu out, and I was telling him on the phone about all about it. And he and I, he said, "Oh, that's a fantastic idea." So I said, "Yeah, but what should I call it?" And without missing a beat, he said, "Tea and Symphony." I was like, "That's it. That's brilliant." And you know, there's a lot in a name. It means exactly what it is. And we do actually have a lot of re very regular customers that will come and say, "Oh, my wife had a heart attack, or I've just had surgery, or so and so died." Or we have quite a lot of that here. And I, I am very specific about the people that work here. And all the people that work here are, are people that are, have a heart and care, genuinely care, and are genuinely interested in people's problems. It's not all about here's your tea, give me your money. The owner Nikki is quite a character. Her British wit often shocks and amuses customers. She even came up with a set of rules for her customers, including waitresses are always right. So Nikki, where here we are in this cozy corner of this cozy little store, and the table just filled with food, delicious food, yeah. smells wonderful. I don't know whether I can finish all these. You have to finish all of it. I'm gonna. You're not leaving till you've eaten it all. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about these. They kind of look foreign to me. Well, they are foreign <laughs> to you. <laughs> they are. No wonder. This is. They're yeah, actually all of this is very traditional. Mm -hmm. And very old-fashioned. Oh yeah. Um, this is called Welsh rabbit, which is basically it's Welsh a bit rabbit. like a grilled cheese, uh -huh. but with mustard and cream, so it's a bit spicy. Okay. And this is very, very, very old-fashioned. Oh yeah. So what's actually on top of it besides it's, cheese? It's it's a mixture of cheese and mustard and cream. It's got, very a, fancy. It's got a little egg in it. Mm. This one looks good too. We do a lot of pies here. This is probably the biggest seller. Um, obviously mashed potato because that's so English and so um, home cooked. This is chicken and leek pie. And it's, leeks is, um, is a Welsh dish, a Welsh vegetable. And this is very, very, it's like a chicken pot. I like pie, how, see, like smoke coming out of it. Yeah, and then you have this crusty pastry Steam, on the you top. Steam, you mean? Yeah. I mean steam, yes. Steam coming out steam of it. Steam because it's hot, yeah. If it was smoke, I'd be a bit worried. <laughs> Eyes <Sure>. on fire. <laughs> wow, it's so good. Mm. So creamy. Mmm. Mm, yummy. Mm, I taste the chicken. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like this one a lot.
and then this one, this well, that's humongous. Also very, very traditionally English afternoon tea. Oh, yeah? Which we have to do, obviously, because we're so English. So you have the savoury sandwich. The sandwich is supposed to be sandwiches first and then scones with clotted cream, uh -huh. which is imported, and jam. Okay. This will be two. Um, it's very popular. It's, it's very popular. So two people usually can yeah. order one. Right, and actually lots it, of people good. come from London, Americans, and they say we had an afternoon tea and the famous blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. And yours is so much better. <laughs> Which it is, actually. Oh, my gosh. You've got so tuna what sandwiches. Are the, uh, sandwiches oh, you right have. there, you've got tuna. You're about to eat there. An egg it's salad. Tuna? Yeah. Okay. Egg salad with watercress. And... I think you've got chicken salad on the plate. I like how it has um, celery and a little bit of um, so, bell pepper inside. Yeah. Mm, a lot of texture. But a good palate. A lot of flavor, be, yeah. It should be on House Kitchen. Mm. Do you want me to show yeah. you how to eat the scones? Oh, you know yeah, how please. to eat scones. I don't. You don't? I actually never seen that. You I haven't? mean, th this kind of shape. It's actually a little bigger sometimes. This is traditional. This is how it should be. Oh, yeah? And this is how you do it. You take the scone. Everything is traditional. And you split it in two. It doesn't have to be cut. Okay. And then you take clotted cream. Mm -hmm. Load it up. Load it up. <laughs> Have you tasted this before? No? You are in for such a treat. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. Thank you, Nikki. If I, I just do it like that? Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow. Speechless now. Wow. Oh my god. It's so good. Wow, and it's not too sweet either. No, it's mm. not, and it's so fluffy and light because there's no. We we have our scones with no butter I and love eggs, it. so they're nice and mm. fluffy. It's so yummy, and then you actually bake yes, the scones here. Yeah. So like freshly made yeah, every day. Every day. Wonderful, and you actually eat like regular food with tea. I've, no, like kind of for dessert, not? not just for dessert. No. Mm. We're English, we drink tea with everything. <laughs> That's true. Tea when you're happy, tea when you're sad. Oh, I tea hope uh, tea will just make happy days, you know, stay longer, right? And then you have Smell this break little thing. That's the strainer, because we lose loose tea here. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee pudding. Okay. It looks kind of like which is actually uh, brownie. Really, it does. Mm -hmm. It's made with dates. <laughs> but you know what? This has become. It's really funny because we did. This is a very old-fashioned thing, and, and we and started custom. doing this. Oh, yeah. And that here goes. And now everybody does it. Everyone's oh, yeah? got it on their menus. Even restaurants in New York have got sticky coffee pudding on their menu. Is it good? Mm. Very yummy. Mm. It's so moist. Oh. So moist. I love it. This is my second time of coming to Tea and Sympathy. When I come, it reminds me of home because the meals are what I'm used to home in England. So, but it's very rare that I come because obviously I live in Brooklyn and then I work at night. So I said today, let me do for me, right? And I was in Manhattan, just window shopping and looking around. And I said, let me come and have my lunch here today. So that's why I'm here. There is also a convenience store next to the restaurant where UK imported goods can be found. Next to the store is a small takeout restaurant, a salt and battery. The self-claimed New York's only truly authentic fish and chip shop fulfilled the nostalgic needs of many people from the UK. 